Hey, what is up guys, OG Carnage here with a quick achievement diary guide. Today we're gonna go ahead and knock out the Karen and Cable's easy diary test, just like Tyson did Frazier. Quick as fuck, if you want to be. Quick as fuck. Then I'll go ahead and put some timestamps in the description below for every single task. With the introductions out of the way, let's get into the items you're gonna need. A spade, a pickaxe, a fly fishing rod, some feathers, a terramin, unfinished potion, and a limpware root. Next up, we have the teleports. If you have Carrot's memoirs, go ahead and grab that. Carrot's memoirs is also known as a Book of the Dead after completing the quest that Keenum divided. Believe me, I need to clear that up because I myself was wondering where my carrots memoirs went. Access to fairy rings will also be very helpful. I suggest bringing a quick teleport to a fairy ring such as the Ardoin cloak or a glory. Also, don't forget your lunar staff or your drama staff. Remember that in order for you to use this, you need to have started a fairy tale to cure a queen and get to the point where you get permission from the fairy godfather. A skills necklace to teleport to the farming guild will also help speed things up. A Xerix talisman will also help. A few house teleports will also come in handy. And lastly, if if you're having an issue or are unable to obtain one of the teleportation devices that I have listed so far, you can use the Arceus spellbook. Just remember you need 60% Arceus favor in order to use it. If you want to use the Arceus spellbook, you will need teleports to the Arceus library, which requires level 6, and to the battlefront, which requires level 23. And before we get started, we do have some level requirements, and they are as follows. 15 mining, 25 thieving, 25 construction, 12 herb lore, 20 fishing, and 15% Asidious favor. If you do not have 15% Hesidius house favor, head to the plow field south of Hesidius and push a plow from one end to the other end and back again. Make sure you have a hammer in your inventory. Do this till about 5%. Once you've reached 5%, you can combine salt petri and compost to reach 15% or even 100%. Go to the GE, buy 950 of each of these items and it'll get you to 100%. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin, this might not be the most efficient way to do these tasks. However, I order them in a way so that the last task we complete is close to a lease where we can get our reward. To start things off, we're going to be fishing for a trout in the Mulch River. So let's go ahead and grab our skills necklace and teleport over to the farming guild. If you're unable to uh, access that for some reason, you can use the fairy ring code CIR and you can run south. And if you don't have access to that, you can use the Arceus Battlefront level 23 teleport and run all the way southeast. Once at the fishing spot, make sure you use the lure option and just wait till you catch a trout. Once you're done, the next thing we're going to want to do is head over to Mount Kairum to mine some iron ore. From the fishing spot, you can either run all the way north to Mount Karum, or you can go ahead and use a glory or a doin cloak to get to a quick fairy ring using CIR, or you can also use the Arceus level 23 battlefront teleport. Once you're at the mining spot, go ahead and mine some iron ore and bada bing bada boom, task complete. Next up, you want to go ahead and teleport over to the Shazian house by using the Book of the Dead or Carrots Memoirs. You can also use the fairy ring code DJR, or you can use the lookout teleport with the Xerix talisman. Once there, head to the infirmary to heal some wounded soldiers. We now have to get over to the center of Hesidius. You can do this by using your Book of the Dead or your Carrots Memoirs. You can also use a Xerix Talisman with the Glade option, or if all else fails, you can use a Skill Necklace to get over to the Woodcutting Guild and then make your way up to Hesidius. Once there, let's go ahead and steal from the Fruit Stall. Once we're done being naughty, let's go ahead and run north to the real estate agent. Right click, relocate, and choose option number four for Hasidius and pay the fine. Now go ahead and break that house teleport tablet, exit, and go back in and bada bing bada boom, that's complete. We will now exit our house and run west to dig up some salt petri. Now that we've dug up some salt petri, let's go ahead and run straight south to kill a sand crab. Now let's go ahead and make our way over to Piscarilla's house. We can do this with our carriage memoirs or our Book of the Dead. We can also go to Port Serum and use Veos or Cabin Boy Herbert. We can also teleport to the Castle of Coran and just run east. Once there, let's head on over to the dungeon sign where that can be found in the mini map and go down it. Now run south and then head west and then go up to the general store. Once you're done accessing the general store, you can run all the way back up through the manhole or you can just teleport back to Piscarilla's house. Once you're back up, you want to make your way over to the docks and travel Land's End. Let's now make our way over to the Lovakinj area and we can do that via the Carrots Memoirs, the Book of the Dead. We can use the Xerix Talisman to teleport to the Inferno. Or alternatively, we can use the Level 6 Arceus Library Teleport, which will run east, south, and then east again to the pub where we will be making a Strength Potion. 
Once inside the pub, go ahead and use your Limport Root on the Tyrone Unfinished Potion and bada bing bada boom, task complete. For our next task, we are pretty close by. We have to make our way over to the Arceus Library, so let's just run there. Once inside the library, we have three or four NPCs that are lazy as fuck and they need help locating a book. Go ahead and right click any of them and use the help option. Once they tell you what book they want, you can go ahead and make your way to the top floor and speak to Biblia who will give you a better understanding of where this book is located. Once you've located the book, go ahead and bring it with you and take it back to the NPC you chose to help and bada bing bada boom, another task complete. We're close, one more to go. For our final task, we have to pray at the altar in Karain Castle. We can either teleport to the Karain Castle, we can use our Serex Talisman, the heart option, or we can simply just run south from the Arceus Library. Once inside the Karain Castle, make your way up to the third floor and finish your final task. We can now make our way over to Elise, who is outside of the Karain Castle, heading over to the Piscorillus area to receive our rewards, which are Rada's Blessing Number One, which has three teleports to Karain Woodland area every day, two percent chance to catch two fish at once everywhere when equipped, one antique lamp with 2,500 XP for any skills above 30, double drop rates for Xerix Talisman, excluding stone chests, and reduced tanning prices at Eodon in Forthos Dungeon from his default price to 80% of his default price. All right. Well, I want to thank each and every single one of you who chooses to watch my videos. I really hope this guide helped. Remember, any criticism, please go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.